I think it's just instincts take over and adrenaline. It's so little time to really think. Because you're the only guy back there, you just feel like you're on an island. It's just really reaction. It is that instinct, tenacity, drive, and guts that makes Vaughn Rivers a fearless competitor. He is the quintessential Mountaineer football player. Vaughn's love of the game started early. He was the Pittsburgh Athletic Association Player of the Year, and that caught Tony Gibson's attention. And I recruited him out of high school, and, and you know that's the first thing all the coaches talked about, how fierce a competitor he was. You know, he'd get after it and, you know, look past the size and look what he does and how productive he is. You know, Coach Gibby really recruited me as an athlete, knowing I could play offense or defense. And, you know, kind of small to play receiver, but some people say kind of small to play corner, too. <laughs> He's a competitive kid. He works hard, and he completes every single snap, and he wants a win no matter what it is. If it's a run play, he wants to beat the receiver to the ball. You know, if the ball's up in the air, he wants to get his hands on it. And, and, you know, he takes it personal, and it's a personal challenge for him every day. Vaughn was redshirted as a freshman, an experience he came to appreciate. Uh, it was hard, you know, just making that whole adjustment to college and, and not really being able to play. You know, that's kind of your outlet when you're going through stress is being able to play football, or at least for me. And not being able to play, just really being on a scout team and, and taking that intermediate role was so hard, you know. And, but it was a learning process. It was, it was a, definitely a learning process and something that I, not necessarily I think every freshman should go through, but it just it gives you a lot of growth. Vaughn started getting playing time at corner, but he's a team player. So when his squad needed him on offense, he just went to work. So we were kind of short at uh, slot receivers, so you know, Coach Rod and I talked to him about it, and he jumped in, you know, full board. You know, didn't ask why, didn't ask about anything. All he wanted to do was an opportunity to play. So he's done a lot of things. He's played a lot of spots for us, and, and you know, you can't put that on the shoulders of somebody that's not willing to learn it and will do the extra, and he's done it all. And you know, kids follow him at this point in his career because they've seen what he's been through and what he means to this program, and he, he defines West Virginia football. So what's Vaughn's favorite moment as a Mountaineer? Well, it went something like this. Every one of my teammates is thinking, like, this could be it. Either I'm going to make the play or I'm going to be the one to take it to the fourth overtime. And so I just tightened it up, man, and laced my shoelaces a little tighter, like Coach Rod would say, yeah, and got ready for the play. No good. It's over. Mountaineers win. So I love the atmosphere. You know, I love the students. I love the program. Um, just pretty much everything that embodies playing football at West Virginia. In December, Vaughn will leave WVU with a degree and a desire to make a difference. I know I want to get back you know, to the community, maybe if it's not back at home in Pittsburgh, you know, somewhere, and, and get back in the inner city and help uh, some of these knuckleheads, you know, hopefully coaching, uh, maybe um, teaching a little bit.